So this is a demonstration of the speech software that we have set up for the little arm right now inside of the uh, desktop app that we've used. Uh, right now you can see that I can control the arm using the individual joints just by using the sliders that are on in the standard GUI, which is not that difficult. And then you can record waypoints and everything else. Uh, what I've done is I've pre-recorded a couple of examples with the screwdrivers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the keyword stance, uh, screwdriver, and flathead to denote different motions that the arm is supposed to go through. So in order to start up the speech module, you go up here to the menu up in the right, control methods, and then speech control. And now it's live with speech control. Screwdriver. Flathead. Dance. Kill. And the word kill is to kill the application. It's the way to exit out of the speech module and go back to the control right here. Because now I have control of the base again. If I go back and I go back into speech control, you'll see that I won't be able to control it with the standard GUI anymore. So, in speech, dance. Kill. 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 There we go. Uh, sometimes the kill can be a little bit tough for it because the, the k at the very beginning can confuse it as a, like an H or something else. Uh, we're working on the robustness a little bit there. But right now, now I have control of it again. And if I say something like dance, you got nothing. So yeah, if the speech system is activated, then you lose control from the GUI. And if the GUI is activated, then the speech dies, so that you don't have any overlap there. But that's the, the basic way to do it. And then you can pre-record different sequences that you want to do. We have a set batch of sequences that you can edit and record to, so that the arm can work with those, and you can train the arm to do something, save them to those particular files, and then keywords will get it started. You can say, like, task one, task two, and those kind of things. And that's the layout of the speech control for the little arm big. Thanks, everybody.